Hey guys, Steve here. Today I'm with my new Xbox Series X. When I got this system, I went to set it up and found out my TV was not having a good time with the Xbox Series X. For some reason, the Series X was not recognizing my TV as being 4K. Now this is a 4K TV and should be capable of most of the features that the Xbox Series X has to offer. The only thing that this TV doesn't have is 120 Hertz. And that's because that is the TV's fault, not the Xbox's problem. Going into the 4K TV details on the Series X, I found out that a lot of these features are not supported by my TV, but they should be. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how I corrected this problem on my TV. Hopefully it'll help some of you guys out. And maybe it'll help you get the best image out of your Series X onto your TV. Now at the very top of the screen, we can see that my TV supports 4K UHD at 60 Hertz, but it doesn't support it at 120 Hertz. If you want your Series X to be able to play at 120 Hertz on your TV, your TV needs to be capable of 120 Hertz. And that is gonna be dependent on the HDMI input on your TV. Now over the years, there have been different standards of HDMI. Over time, they have gotten better and better. Currently, when the system came out, the best generation is HDMI 2.1. HDMI 2.1 offers 120 hertz 4K video. HDMI 2.0, that only is offered at 60 hertz. Now, looking at the TV, a lot of these other features are not supportive here, but they should be. Now, I'm gonna show you how I corrected that right now. So since your TV needs to have HDMI 2.1, or HDMI 2.0 to get the best features out of this, we need to make sure our TV is capable of doing HDMI 2.0 or 2.1. Now, if you do not know which HDMI standard your TV has, look it up in the manual that came with it. If you threw the manual away, you can look up the manual online. And that's what I did. I ended up looking up this TV online and found out that this TV only supports HDMI 2.0. But what the problem was on my TV, if I go ahead and I hit the menu on this Roku TV and I go up to my settings, I can go over and down to my HDMI inputs, go over to my Xbox, the one that my Xbox is connected to, and I'm gonna go over here to HDMI mode. And on this TV, it has HDMI 1.4, which is an old school, HDMI and now it has HDMI 2.0 or it has an auto feature which will select the one that it needs. Now I had problems using auto because it did not always detect HDMI 2.0. It was reverting back to HDMI 1.4. So if I take my remote and go down to HDMI 2.0, hit enter. Now it's going to save that. If I go back to my home screen, and go over to my Xbox again. I can now go back on the Xbox Series X by hitting back, and then once again, going over to my 4K details. And now we can see that a bunch of these options now show up. Like I said, it supports 4K, that did it before. My TV does not support 120 Hertz because it only has HDMI 2.0, not 2.1, that remember, 120 hertz is HDMI 2.1 or higher. And now my TV supports HDR10 for gaming, <clears throat> supports 4K, 4K at 60, 4K video, Dolby Vision, and all these other options did not show up because of that HDMI standard that was on the TV itself. Now, like I said, I was going into the settings of the TV to change that HDMI setting, and then I just, display this option on the Xbox Series X. Now, if you wanna know how to get to this screen on your Xbox Series X, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna hit the Xbox button on our controller, and we're gonna go up to our um, account here, and then we're gonna go down to settings. In settings, we can then go into our TV and display options under general, and over here, change our resolution to 4K UHD, and then in TV details, this will show us our screen that uh, gives us all of our information. Now I'll leave a link to a spreadsheet down below and on the screen here to show where the HDMI standards have gone, come from and where they're currently at. Then you can see which features are supported through the different standards. Now I should make a point that this Xbox Series X is connected directly to the TV. 
Now I do have a stereo receiver that in the past I would have hooked my 360 to the re receiver first and then the receiver would send the signal to the TV. But now I cannot do that because my receiver is an old receiver that does not support HDMI 2.0 or above. So you remember that old saying that goes, a oh, chain is only as strong as its weakest link? The same is true when it comes up to hooking up electronic devices. If I was to hook the Series X to my old receiver and then to this 4K TV, this TV would not display the image at 4K because this receiver can only show 1080p through it. So when it comes to hooking up your system, make sure you're hooking the Xbox Series X or S directly to your 4K TV. And then if you want to use your stereo receiver for audio, have your TV send the signal from the TV to the receiver. So Xbox the TV to receiver. That is your best option when it comes to hooking up this stuff. So hopefully you found this video informative and hopefully it helps some of you out that are having problems getting your 4K settings on your Xbox Series X or S. If you guys have any questions or comments be sure to leave that down below and if you guys found this video informative be sure to hit that like button so i know i did a good job be sure to subscribe to my channel i will have more videos coming out in the future so stay tuned for that thanks for watching guys goodbye